Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest weather analysis for this Thursday to Saturday, June 6 to 8, 2024. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation in partnership with Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link here or visit our, the website. Uh, you can uh, find it if you're watching via Facebook to our description. There's a link there towards BPI Sustainable With You homepage. Also, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Lecachon and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camarini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. Uh, here's the latest graph set. We don't have any tropical cyclone formation or the Southwest Monsoon is currently on a break. And we just have here the usual afternoon and evening localized rain showers and thunderstorms that uh, is actually affecting most parts of the country. And today, it's already uh, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Thursday, we are experiencing some heavy thunderstorms uh, for the past uh, uh, few hours. And right now, it's starting to go away. And uh, again, tomorrow we expect another round of thunderstorms, not only here in Bicol region, but all throughout the archipelago. So these are isolated, scattered ones. Elsewhere across the Philippine Sea, there's nothing to uh, discuss here, just a uh, diffused shear line here moving away. And uh, we have a surface trough trying to develop here over the vicinity of Yap and Palau. But uh, based on the computer models, there will be no development on this trough. And we have here a very weak intertropical convergence zone. Right here over the coastal waters of northern Vietnam, we have a uh, low pressure system stationary over the uh, western edge of the Gulf of Duncan. And its trough will also bring some thunderstorms, rain showers across uh, Hainan and the southern coastal waters of China. Okay, so uh, we don't have any uh, major red wind system or any uh, weather system affecting the Philippine Islands except for these localized thunderstorms. Also known as Cumulonimbus clouds. So expect at this time of the year, since we are now this in, the, in the beginning of the uh, wet or rainy season, we're still on the lookout for the next uh, uh, 15 to 20 days. But so far, it's still clear across the western Pacific. Here's the fast animation. And you can clearly see here some cloudiness generated by uh, local thunderstorms across uh, the Philippine Islands and the uh, surface slough here, which is uh, uh, not going to survive for the next uh, couple of days. Here's uh, the uh, frontal system moving away. And for our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, as we uh, view this uh, satellite loop at 8 o'clock, the land mass of Luzon are still clear from any uh, massive thunderstorms, except for the area of uh, Sulu Archipelago, uh, Palawan, and the western edge of Mindanao. But if we play this and move into the early afternoon, you can clearly see here most of thunderstorms begin has begun to uh, blossom all throughout the country. So this is uh, quite a uh, gift for us since we are just uh, uh, moving away from the effects of El Nino. Although it's still there, the rainfall generated by these thunderstorms will not reach at normal levels, but it's it's already good enough to bring some uh, irrigation or natural irrigations across the different parts of the country. We're still waiting for the uh, pure onset of the southwest monsoon, which has temporarily uh, visited us during the uh, uh, time of uh, tropical uh, cyclone uh, Aghon. And uh, most likely by the end of June, actually next week, there will be some light southwesterly winds, which I'm going to show to you here at our latest uh, uh, ECMWF wind and pressure forecast from windy.com. So if we move this for the next three days, okay, so th this is today, tomorrow, Saturday, uh, Friday, I mean, and uh, until uh, Saturday and Sunday, you can see now that the winds will now begin to shift from calm conditions to uh, uh, blowing from the south, and then it will shift blowing to, or blowing from the southwest, 
towards the northeast. So this is now the start of the southwesterly wind flow beginning next week. But most of them are concentrated along the uh, northern portions of the West Philippine Sea, along extreme northern Luzon. And uh, again, the usual uh, rain uh, system that is expected to affect our country is mainly due to localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Okay? And for the uh, thunderstorm forecast, okay, so today you can clearly see here in various sections of the country, these are strong thunderstorms, those in dark red, but here in Bicol, we also experience some dark red uh, colored uh, thunderstorms, which is with higher intensity. But uh, remember, this is only a forecast. When the forecast say it's only light, in reality, it's really strong. So let's all be prepared when uh, a thunderstorm passes by in our respective areas. On Friday, we expect another thunderstorm activity in various sections of uh, Luzon, uh, parts of Bicol, Northern Samar, uh, Visayas, and Mindanao. And on Saturday afternoon, another uh, round of thunderstorms can be observed here in the forecast across uh, uh, particularly over Mindanao and Luzon, uh, a few over the Bicol region, and uh, some over Visayas and uh, Palawan. And on Sunday afternoon, another round of thunderstorms will be expected over northern Palawan, uh, northern Luzon, Mindanao, uh, while elsewhere will uh, have a lower chances of uh, thunderstorms. Okay. And if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days, almost the rest of the country will be experiencing some thunderstorms. And with the lesser frequency over eastern Visayas, but most of them are occurring in all parts of the uh, Philippine Islands. Okay, so let's thank uh, God that we have this kind of rainfall at this point in time. Although we still have the uh, post effects of El Nino, but right now we are now in neutral conditions. And let's welcome this uh, rainfall that will bring natural irrigation across the archipelago. As for the wave forecast, nothing unusual for the next three days until Sunday. We expect light waves of up to one meter over the east over the East Philippine Sea, as well as over the West Philippine Sea. Okay, while over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands, that includes Sibuyan Sea. Uh, Visayan Sea and the Sulu Archipelago, calm conditions up to almost a one meter of wave height will be expected. So it is extremely safe for fishing and sea travel. But take note of thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. It may uh, bring some sudden uh, downburst of heavy rain with some gusty winds. So when there's a thunderstorms, uh, avoid going out to sea or uh, out over the field okay uh, just uh, stay at home or inside a shelter when uh, we encounter this uh, afternoon evening rain showers and thunderstorms particularly deadly lightning strikes so that's the uh, forecast when it comes to the waves now let's take a look at the global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA valid for the next two to three weeks where in the third week is highly uncertain or less than 35 up down to 0% probability. So for week 2, June 12 to uh, June 18, everything is quiet across the Philippine Islands. No uh, hazardous uh, weather system. Only above average rainfall here at more than 20% uh, across uh, Taiwan, the West Philippine Sea, the Southern Islands of Japan, and southern china because of the ongoing uh, development of back-to-back -back, uh, frontal systems while on the third week valid june 19 to june 25 this is uh, a little quite of concern okay because uh, there might be a uh, tropical cyclone forming from the east philippine sea uh, between palau all towards the philippine islands so this is only around the uh, 
um, 25% in probability. And the third week uh, forecast remains highly uncertain, very low. So changes will still occur. So we will keep you updated on this situation. Okay. So 20% probability is nothing to worry about. So it might change. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, Thursday, June 6th. And we'll return this weekend for another Weather TV update here at our YouTube page, Mr. Typhoon TV, and at our uh, Facebook channel, Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all. Don't forget to support our channel. Click the uh, subscribe button. Click the subscribe button and uh, always uh, uh, give us a like. Okay? So, thank you so much. See you again.